D Rich TV here at the Middle School Hoops Basketball Camp in Indianapolis. And to my right, I have, you guys know who this is, one of the top players in the class of 2023, Elijah Fisher. How are you feeling today, man? Today I'm feeling good. I feel a little bit jet lagged from playing, but it's whatever. Now, yesterday you played in the event, and I heard that you did pretty good. Can you talk about that? Yes, sir. Yesterday, from Friday to Saturday, I played in the Crestwood Jamboree, sponsored by Universal Hoops. I feel like it was a great show out for me and my team. We went undefeated. First game I had 23, second game I had 20. Now throughout the years, I can see the improvement on your game. I can see you stretching out, hitting the jumper, handles getting better. How many hours do you spend in the gym a week or per day? Per day, my day schedule would be get up in the early morning, go work out before school, go to school, lunchtime, get shots up, and then after school, go work out and then go home and do the same thing over again. Okay, okay, a lot of hours in the gym. What are you expecting for the high school season? What do you think that will change from middle school to going to high school? High school season, I expect, I expect more physicality, more more better players, players all over there trying to get scholarships and things. So I feel like that the level of intensity is going to hype up more more crowds, more everything. Now, this is your third or fourth year. Come back into the camera for me real quick. This is your third or fourth year at the middle school who's basketball camp. How would you say this event changed your life? Because you kind of got your start here, blew up here. How would you say this changed your life? This has changed me because my start year, I came, it was just me. Me as a no-name player, not really known or anything. And I came here, showed my talents against, against the, the top player. And then I just came and then from then I just blew up and became the number one player. So I felt like it's been a great experience. Now, I'm not going to lie. To me, you kind of put Canada on the map for me for a lot of younger players because I started to see a lot more players from Canada showing up on the scene year after year. And you were kind of like the first place, first face I saw from Canada come out here and dominate. What would you say about Canada basketball and where it stands today? Canada basketball where it stands today is a great thing. I feel like RJ Barrett, Steve Nash, Corey Joseph and all of them, they put a footprint on for us, for us to go out and show our talent and to be able to go do what we need to do. Who would you say is your favorite player to ever come out of Canada basketball wise? Favorite player to come out of Canada, I would say, is RJ Bear because I, I like his mentality and the way he plays. He plays with that killed demeanor like me. What kind of advice has he given you? Because he came through the same ranks. He was highly recruited. What advice has he given you? Because I know you guys speak. Just to have fun and to make sure my books and everything's in line. Because if you're not having fun with the game, then there's no point in really playing. He's trying to get you to go to Duke if you, if you ever go to school? <laughs> no, sir, but I haven't really thought of what school I'm going to. I've just been focusing on high school. Now they say that they might let kids go to the NBA out of high school starting in 2022 if you're ready. But if you're not ready, some kids probably don't go anyways and get exposed. But if you're ready, they might let you go. What do you think about that? I think that if you're ready to go, you should go. But I feel like in my standpoint, I feel like you need the education or something. Because just in case if something doesn't work out, if you get injured or anything, God forbid, you need a backup plan. Yeah, you know, a backup plan does come in handy. You know, I actually thought about going to school myself. and. Maybe finishing up for real. But uh, <laughs> if you had like five schools, five colleges that you watched growing up that you would like to get offers from, who would they be? Five schools that I watched growing up, I watched like, watch all of them. I watched Duke, Syracuse, Kentucky, um, Arizona. I watch UCLA. I would really watch all of them, but I really have thought about which one I really want to get offered from. It's just a, be a blessing for any school to have me at their school. For sure, man. Well, this is D-Rich TV, man. Elijah Fisher, man, I appreciate you. Appreciate Go out there and ball up in the All-Star game.